What's up guys, with the iPhone 14 out of the way, we now have the iPhone 15 series to look forward to. And a couple of popular Apple analysts, Min Chi Kuo and Mark Gurman, have some interesting insight to share. Kuo thinks that Apple will rethink its regular iPhone 15 and Pro lineups in order to boost sales in the increasingly competitive market. Reportedly, Apple will create a bigger feature disparity between the iPhone Pro series and the standard ones in order to give customers more reason to opt for the higher tier smartphones. This will increase pros shipment allocation and ultimately boost average sales prices of the iPhone 15 family as a whole. Moreover, Kua predicts Apple will create more differentiation within the Pro series itself, but didn't go into specifics. Garmin claims that the Pro Max naming scheme will be dropped in favor of Ultra, which kind of makes sense given that the high-end watch is Ultra, and Apple is already using the Pro, Max and Ultra tiers for its Mac M series processors. Think the rumored periscope zoom camera will be exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but won't come to the iPhone 15 Pro, while both phones would be powered by a 3 nanometers Apple A17, leaving the 4 nanometers A16 for the base iPhone 15 models or something in that vein. Apple, he claims, is trying to raise the average selling prices of its iPhones in what is shaping up to be a recessionary market for the next few years without actually raising prices and incurring a customer backlash. Right now, the average selling price of the basic 128GB by iPhone 14 series sits at $3,796 for the four Hanses in the lineup, while if you wanted to buy the whole of the iPhone 13 quartet at launch, it would have run you at $3,596. Thus, we can expect the average selling price of the iPhone 15 series to climb even further than the iPhone 14 series. Needless to say, if Apple keeps the Periscope Zoom and iPhone 15 Pro Max exclusive and adds other accoutrements to the phone that the iPhone 15 Pro wouldn't have we can certainly expect an iPhone 15 Pro Max price bump of the 100 magnitude at least. If Apple also plays with the price differences between the storage versions, for example ships the iPhone 15 Pro with 256GB of base storage, it could also raise its price to $1,100, widening the price gap between the iPhone 15 Plus and 15 Pro to more than current $100 that were the iPhone 14 Plus and iPhone 14 Pro command. In any case, the iPhone 15 series is shaping up to to be another long-term strategy shift by Apple in a market that is getting more challenging by the day. Wait and see. Well, we'll keep you posted, so soon we will have more and more information about the upcoming iPhone 15 line, which has many surprises in store for us, so stay tuned and see you soon.